Have you ever heard about the stone spheres of Costa Rica? In the 1930s, while clearing jungle to make room for banana plantations, the United Fruit Company stumbled across ancient stones that were so perfectly spherical that they were never even considered their significance at the time. In fact, bulldozers were used to get them out of the way and they were even blown up as the workers speculated for gold. Astonishing, right? The sites around Costa Rica have been evaluated by very few over the years, but as of 2010, the site has been evaluated as a UNESCO protected World Heritage Site of major importance to the history of humanity. Wait till you hear this. The Finca 6 archaeological site is not only of major interest, it is also a complete mystery. Why these stones exist is the subject to much speculation and guesswork at best. But the fact remains, we don't know why they exist, we don't know how old they are, and we don't even know which civilization these things belong to. They are simply a mystery. Though many of the stone spheres were moved, researchers have found that they were often arranged in lines or triangles. But Finca 6 revealed two groups of stone spheres in a straight line, parallel to each other, oriented east-west and approximately 130 meters apart. But why? Why go to all the trouble to create such elaborate and unique stonework? Some believe that the stones came from Atlantis and were polished smooth by the water. Others believe they're the work of aliens. Local legends hold that the ancient natives had a powerful potion that could soften rock. In the indigenous Bribri culture, it's believed that Terra, the god of thunder, used a giant blowpipe to shoot these cannonballs at the gods of winds and hurricanes in order to drive them away. Could there really have been a secret civilization that existed in Costa Rica thousands of years ago? What are the stone spheres representing? What are they there for? Many of the spheres are made of granite-like rock, yet the granite rock quarries were often 25 or 30 miles away from the location of the largest stone sphere. How then did the sculptors move such heavy stones? Some of the stones, after all, weigh 16 tons. If the granite stones were moved before they were sculpted, then a nine foot cube that would be needed to sculpt a sphere eight feet in diameter would weigh a whopping 24 tons. To even get a massive stone to its final location, the natives would have to cut large tracks through the very dense bush. Could they have been a deliberate attempt to map out the stars or something like that? Who knows? Whatever their purpose was, the fact remains that they were created for a reason of high importance that is almost unimaginable for us to understand. What happened to the civilization that created them? Why is there no records of their existence and how did they suddenly vanish? Much like we see in the ancient Mayan ruins, the jungle reclaimed the area over a very long period of time. Could there still be places in the deep jungles today that we are still to discover? What do you guys think of these ancient stone spheres? We would love to hear your theories, so please comment below. As always, thank you for watching.